What's good everyone? It's your boy Santo G. Back at it, you already know, spreading unity, prosperity, and respect. Above all, if you're new here, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, that way you're notified when I drop future content. So before we get into this video, man, I just want to say Happy New Year 2024. Today is January 1st, and this is officially the first video that I'm going to drop as far as me recording and dropping the first video I'm making of the year, man. Salute to all the new subscribers, everybody tapping in, showing your boy love, Texas, UK, Canada, New Mexico, Albuquerque, Arizona, everybody and anyone, man, that's ever reached out and showed your boy love, New York, the Midwest, the East Coast, the West Coast, down south, up north, Oakland, Sac, you know what I mean? It's all the same. I appreciate all you guys, man, and everybody rocking with me. So today, before we get into it, man, if you guys seen the shorts that I dropped throughout the day, if you guys are content, like watching all of my content, I just want to give a little cheers, man, with a high life. You guys seen I came up on a case yesterday. I drank one last night, and I'm about to pop one right now with you guys, man. Salud. Happy New Year, man. May all your dreams, everything that you ever desire, all your goals for this year, may they all come true, man. May y'all be blessed. Have nothing but blessings. And only going up. You know what I'm saying? The sky's the limit. 2024, we taking over. 2023, it was time to wake up. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to motivate you guys to do better. So 2023, it was wake up time. 2024, it's time to take over, man. Let's get this. Salud. I appreciate all of y'all, man. Lil, for the homies, man, that are not here. Let's get it. <sighs> Little fun fact. When I started drinking, if you guys seen the video that I put up when I was in the alley, and I said that I would go ask the winos to buy me a blunt or some beers. This is actually the beer that I would ask them to buy me. Back then, this beer right here was like 130, 145 for a 32 ounce. With two dollars, you could get one of these. Now they're like four, almost five bucks. You know what I mean? Shout out to the homie Cano from Durango, man. Good looking out, my boy, for looking out with these man i still got 10 of them i was just talking to him right now before i started doing this video i went around the corner and shit and went to go send mines to the homies everyone that was right there and we were talking about how me i hardly drink man i'm gonna be honest i hardly drink i drank one last night just for the new year at 12 o'clock and i popped this one early right now i popped it just to drink it with you guys right now in this video man so i was telling them i'm like man look with the remaining 10 i want to buy another box and then buy some like little caesar's pizzas or something and go around drive around the city and just bless all the people that i see like the people living on the street or people that i just see man that it looks like they having a bad day and a brew and a couple of pizzas man that'll make anybody's day better you know what i'm saying if y'all want to be a part of that you already know what to do man through the super chat or not even just by sharing this video and running these views up man i'm using whatever is coming in to put out bless people like i said this month is gonna be my first youtube check so i'm also gonna do giveaways man I haven't done no giveaways. I know we're reaching already 27 plus subscribers, man. And I salute you guys. I appreciate you guys for that. But right now, I ain't got no financial like that to be able to be like, oh, I'm going to give away a shoes. I'm going to give away an Xbox or a PlayStation. But let you guys know, keep an eye out for that. Once I get my first check, I'm going to think about how I could give back. And I'm going to put that, like I said, into getting the equipment that I need, man. So, 
salute to you guys. I'm just trying to pave the way, man, and be a motivation for you guys, man. Show you guys how to do it. All right, let's get. So, I wanted to pretty much talk about when I got to Oklahoma. I know that video said to be continued. That's because while I was saying the story, one of my neighbors was coming and they were gonna hop in their whip. I wanted to give them the respect of giving them their space. So I had to cut it short. It was something that I just had to cut it short and it was either I just redo the whole video or I just put to be continued. I think that I was too in the zone. And once I get in that zone, like I said, nothing that I say is scripted. It's all off the dome, just me remembering as I go, remembering certain things. So that's why I put to be continued. So let's get into it. So boom, I get to Oklahoma. We get off the bus and we get there. As soon as we get there, they put us in some holding cages. And there was a couple of homies getting their packages right there. So they pretty much laced us up. And they told us, like, look, right here, right now, it's on site with the northerners. Anytime the doors crack, if you're able to get at them, even if you go to medical or whatever, it's on site, right? So that's what the homies tell me when I'm in the holding tank. So they sent me to Unit Bravo. I go to B1 at first, and then after the ride, I end up in B2. <laughs> so I go to B1 or B2. I don't remember which one's which. It's south and north. I go to Bravo South or Bravo North. And that's where I ended up landing with the homie from Colton, the bunkie that I said was like the worst bunkie I ever had. And I'm refraining from saying his name just because I don't, you know what I mean? But it was the homie from Colton from Northside Colton, you know what I mean? Uh, boom, I'm, I land in his cell. This was in September. My birthday passed, got a package or whatever, and then I just remember in November, that's when I get the letter of my homeboy Sicko saying that he ended up passing away. You know what I mean? God bless my homeboy Sick. So I get that. Boom, I'm going through it, have a fucked up celly. I don't even have a TV or anything. We're on lockdown because supposedly there's a war between us and the Northerners. When in reality, it couldn't have been far from the truth. Because although they were saying it was on site, to be honest, the only people that had program at that time was the Northerners. Everybody else was slammed down. I can't remember for what. I can't remember for what reason everybody else was slammed down and only the northerners were allowed to have day room and stuff like that. Any of my northerners that were out of state in Oklahoma before they sent all the northerners to Arizona because they had northerners in Arizona and Oklahoma, mainly Oklahoma. But then once the friction started happening out of state, they sent all the northerners back to Arizona. Arizona was the only place where northerners were at. They had homies in Oklahoma and Mississippi and a little bit in Arizona. They only had one building in Arizona. And the reason I know this is because when I came back in 2014, that's when it was like that. When I first left, the homies pretty much had Arizona. There was no northerners in Arizona, I think just one building. Then it flipped. It went the other way. It was nothing but Northerners and just homies in one building. To the CO homie that tapped in, you know what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? He actually told me he was actually there when I ended up coming back in 2014. I told him about a situation that went down and he's like, damn, you know what? I remember that, you know what I mean? So, hey, salute to you, big dog. I'm not gonna lie. I was talking to my wife about it and I was like, damn, it's a trip, you know? Like who'd have thought, you know what I mean, that I'll be out on the streets taking the path that I am taking, you know what I mean, motivating people, just sharing my testimony, and I have a conversation with a CO that was working around the same time that I was there, you know. He ended up getting at me like, hey, I wasn't in Oklahoma and Sayre, but... Come to think about it, 
we might have crossed paths when we were in Arizona in La Palma. So, hey, that it just blew my mind, man. That's why I say you always carry yourself with the utmost respect. You treat people the way you want to be treated, man, because you never know. If you're a grimy-ass person and you're just getting at people foul, it's going to catch up to you. You're bound to run into somebody and it's going to be when you least expect it. You know what I'm saying? Say you're with your kids having the time of your life. Boom from the side or boom from the side over some bullshit that you did. So y'all be careful what y'all do. Don't just think in the moment. Know that it's a small world. And you know what I mean? Shit will find its way back to you. So now back to the story. So what I'm trying to get at is, although they could stay even said that it was on site, the whole time I was on lockdown, every day, every day, there was a couple of Norteños coming to my door. We're supposedly on site. If that door pops, we supposed to be getting down. But in Oklahoma, they had uh, in the middle of the rotunda, in the middle of the hallway, they had an ice chest where all day it's a machine that would be making ice. So every day, faithfully, when as soon as they came out and before they went in, there was always Norteños coming to my door like, hey, what's up, G? Do you guys need anything? You guys need some ice? You need me to pass anything around for you? You need me to get something and take it upstairs? And they were going out of their way, out of their own gora, out of their own part, to come out of their way like, hey, you need me to run anything up there? Bullshit you not. If I'm lying, I'm dying. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got my chain on me right now. It's inside, but hey, if I'm lying, I'm dying. Straight up. If I wanted to give him a fierro, anything, some dope, hey, take this to the homie for me. It's not like they would have been like, oh, no, 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 hell not. My boy, they were with the fucking business. Anything, hey, run this pruno over here. Hey, send this over here. Send that over there. They did not hesitate and they did it out of their heart. That's why I still faithfully say, you know what I mean? Salute to all my northerners, you know what I'm saying, that I've ever done time with, that I've ever been busted with. Not taking anything from any of the homies upstate, you know what I mean? Because salute to you guys for holding it down, repping that double S up there, you know what I'm saying? You guys are out there in the war zone every day, and I don't take that from you, man. But I'm going to just call it like it is, like it is, and I can't say I have any animosity towards anybody. If anything, down here, we killing our own, you know? Sad fact. So, boom. They start coming, asking us if we need anything. You know what I mean? The only thing I can remember asking them is charging some batteries for me. I didn't have a battery charger, and I had a little Walkman and stuff. So they would always charge batteries for me, you know? And salute to all the people that ever came to my door and looked out for me, man. Brought me ice or passed something for me, whatever the situation. So that's how it was right there. But it was cool because when I got there, like I said, you have it's still out of state. So we still had the cable TV. And you were able to put money on your phone. Like, say if I had $50 on my books. I could put $20 on the payphone, and with me putting money there, I was able to call anybody. You could call a cell phone, a landline, it didn't matter. That's the only good thing, is that although you were far away from your family, we had TV, we had video games, and the COs were a little bit more friendly. You know what I'm saying? There was homies, had kids with COs type shit, you know what I mean? So, it was all right, but the only thing I got to say as far as out there, the water, they had recycled water. Like, I don't know <clears throat> how to explain it, but when you're driving up to the prisons, they have big old tubs of water. And I guess the water goes in the pipes, goes in those tubs, it gets filtered and it gets shot back. So when we'll shower, the water was like, oh, like slimy, like soapy, you know what I mean? Bullshit you not. Say if you just jump in the shower, you didn't put no soap on, you'll be soapy. Just from, I don't know, some solution they would put in the pipes to keep the rice from to keep the pipes from corroding and, and busting, because they had all kinds of plumbing problems in that prison. So they put some type of liquid 
inside the pipes and we would shower in that water all gooey and you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure if we had honestly looked into it that people would probably even be paid because of that. I broke out in hypes. I got like scars till this day. Like if you touch that, I got them all over my body, my back. Cause I had acne, as I told you guys in the juvenile hall videos, you know what I mean? I had acne so I broke out bad, bad to the point that I had to go to medical every day to shower. I would shower with like some pink soap and then anybody that's in like the medical industry or if you guys know like type of stuff, they would coat my back and my front, my chest and my back with Benadine. It's like a brown, it's like a brown like solution they put on you. That's for like before you go into surgery or after you get out of surgery to stop any infection. They would rub my whole chest and my whole back with Benadine and I would put on a new shirt every night. I did that for like two months due to the water messed up my pores and all that. I had acne as it was so it clogged up my pores even more and it made me break out like nasty. So I'm going through that. I get a letter, letter saying that my homeboy Sico passed away. Not even Two months later, I get another letter from my brother telling me that my primo, Smoke Dog, my primo Nana ended up passing away, you know what I'm saying? And it was just like, man, I think that's what contributed to me breaking out as well, you know? Being far away from my family, loss after loss, having a fucked up Sally, being on lockdown. Those were the times that I was honestly like, Fuck. And it was like the beginning of me starting my prison term Because I had already been busted, you know what I mean? For two years, but I was fighting my case So now sentence I'm only in the county two, two months Get sent to prison Boom, I'm in Chino like another three months Get sent to Wasco I'm in Wasco another month Get sent to Arizona I'm in Arizona like another two months That shit happens with the Huras Get sent to Oklahoma then once I get to Oklahoma, not even a month or two there, I lose my boy Seiko, my fucking best friend. And then not even two months later, I lose my primo smoke dog. It was just like, fuck. You know when they say it rains, it pours? Yeah, it fucking does. Yeah, it fucking does. You know what I mean? That shit's the truth. Like, that shit right there had me like going through all kinds of stuff, you know? And the cool part about Oklahoma is that We'll be on lockdown, then they'll let us out. Like, us, they didn't let us out for that lockdown until they sent all the northerners to Arizona. Then they sent none but homies to Oklahoma. So Oklahoma was none but Southsiders, whites, others, and blacks. You know what I mean? There was no northerners. It wasn't until then that they let us come out. But we were on lockdown for so long that when we came out, people started getting cleaned up, you know? Homies started cleaning up trash and any little... Boop out, boop out. Any little boop up, we'll go on lockdown for another three months. Come back out, another boop up, another three months. Out, and it was just the repetitive again and again and again till the brothers actually filed the lawsuit. And that's what ended up ending that as far as them having us on lockdown for stuff that we didn't do. Because it was, you're punishing the whole inmate population for three inmates. Because it'll be a two on one. A simple two-on-one and we'll go on lockdown for months at a time. Come back out, say a simple one-on-one, -on -one, we'll go on lockdown. It was that type of bullshit that they were pulling on us. And they were doing it for a couple years till the other races filed a lawsuit. Because homies ain't allowed to do that. You know what I mean? Now recently, you somebody mentioned that the homies came out the shoe. They probably piggyback off a lawsuit that other races or other somebody, another faction or car started. But for the homies to just do that on their own, I doubt it, man. Y'all do your homework. So, I'm going to end it off here. It's almost to 20 minutes. I don't want to do it over because then it's going to take forever to upload. So, I'm going to end it off here so that way you guys can have this for the morning. I appreciate everyone rocking with me, man. It's your boy Santo G. Unity, prosperity, and respect. Above all, happy 2024, man. And like I said, if y'all want to be a part of that video, 
me going and blessing the homeless around my area with a brew and some pizza for the new year. Tap in, man. Let's get it. Get at me on IG and let's make this happen, man.